project is about a new um, music endeavor that we started about a year ago um, called Crystal Radio. What, what was happening to us while we're traveling to all these, these towns around Arizona and New Mexico, um, we were writing music and my intention when I wrote the music was to write untypical chords that I had ever written before but also had an old world aesthetic to them. They felt like something from like the 1940s, 50s, 60s. Um, and uh, Paula started writing lyrics that really were painting a picture of the landscape that we were traveling through. Once we wrote the songs and started performing them, in the fall was our first performance in October. And because the theremin is different every time I play it, we really had something in our head about, well, do we wanna, how do we capture this? For several months, we just really contemplated and thought about it. And um, we had been listening to two albums that Gabe produced. Listening to Gabe Sullivan's, his productions, and listening to um, his spirit in the music that he does, really, like we really felt that it would really give us that stamp of Arizona, and, and or not even just Arizona, but this region of the country. And it was really a kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it was like, we need to talk to Gabe and see if he'll be interested in producing this record. My name's Gabriel Sullivan from Tucson, Arizona, through Paul and Daniel hearing some of the records I'd produced, they asked me if I'd be interested in producing the Crystal Radio album. Paul and Daniel would come to my house uh, once a week or so, and every time they'd bring two or three uh, demos of songs that they wanted to have on the album. So when we had all that together, we I think we're all really comfortable with each other playing, and we we're really confident in the songs by the time we got to the studio to record them. I've kind of gathered a group of musicians that are kind of go-to and trustworthy for me. And I think it helps define uh, the sound that I'm trying to create uh, simply by choosing the right people and the people that can create the aesthetic that I'm after. So we got Winston Watson and Turia Lund and we headed up to Jerome. We were taking a road trip from Santa Fe and we um, kind of stumbled upon Jerome and we'd always wanted to go there. And um, when we finally visited, it just really inspired us. When they mentioned that there might be a studio there that was really obvious that we had to book at least a day up there and try it and if it went well we'd go back and finish the record there and if not no problem we'd come back to Tucson and do it as we always did. The studio was built in uh, the bottom floor of uh, the old high school there that has since been turned completely into artist spaces and studios. It was really unifying kind of experience to be there and I think it really showed through in those four days of recording. We're really excited to, to complete the project. Um, right now it's coming together so beautifully. Um, we have plans and to mix the music in Denmark and, um, and then mastering from there. And we've had so much support from the community so far that we thought it would be a fun way for everyone to get involved and have a little keepsake for themselves. The great thing about reaching out to people is is that you feel like they're part of the project, you know, they're part of the record, part of the music. And we're extremely happy and really excited to share it.